The long road to recovery for those who lost their homes, the farms and livelihoods has started tonight. One man's recovery is from a hospital bed at Seattle's Harborview Medical Center. You need to run. You only have one option and that's it. You have to run. Justin Knudsen narrowly escaped the flames of the Oregon Road fire when he went back to make sure his neighbors were safe. Our Natalie Grant has this incredible story of survival tonight, Natalie. Yeah, yeah Kirsten, absolutely incredible, like you said. Now, Justin Knudsen is a veteran who says he's been to Afghanistan before, but he says he's never faced a mental challenge that physically running through smoke and flames brings. He says he wouldn't have made it out alive if it wasn't for a stranger's help. Now, in this visit video distributed by UW medicine. Justin shares his story. When he went back into the fire, his truck broke down and left him with no other option than to run, fighting every natural instinct in his body to stay in his truck. And Justin described the black smoke and the heat as unbearable. He was screaming to keep smoke out of his lungs, and eventually he heard a faint honking. He ran towards it and saw headlights eventually jumping into the car of his savior. If it weren't for her, I'm pretty sure another five seconds and and I would have been gone. Um, there was, I mean, at this point I was watching my skin drip off, like, like drip off. It was, it was, my skin was melting um, and I was watching it drip off my arms. I was watching it drip off my legs um, and I had noticed a big chunk was falling off of my face. Uh, and so I hopped in her car and I just repeatedly kept, uh, telling her that I loved her. I love you. I love you. I love you. Now that woman drove him to safety where people were able to douse Justin with water and give him the medical attention he desperately needed at that point. Justin was then transported to Harborview Hospital in Seattle where he still is today. He's expected to make a full recovery and return home to his family. Now Justin says that he's a or Justin rather says that he is a construction worker and owns his own construction business. He's looking forward to returning to the Spokane area to help rebuild his community who's been supporting him along his journey. Reporting in studio tonight, Natalie Grant, 4 News Now.